Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm back. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I have a book here I'm going to read. It's called Barnyard Boogie. And I really don't like reading this book, except when I'm teaching, because then I have helpers that come and help me move the, the mouth for the animals. So it's kind of hard to read this book because I have to read the words and move the mouth for the animals. So see at the back, there's holes here. I think you put your hands in like a puppet. But I like to turn those inside out sometimes because the back of the book has the farmer on it and then it looks like his mouth. But anyways, when I read this in class, I always have friends willing to come up and do the work for me. But I guess I'll have to do it all by myself right now. And it's called Barnyard Boogie. And it's written by Jim and Janet Post and illustrated by Dan Vasconcellos. Vasconcellos, or something like that. So um, there is a trick to this book, actually. It's a prediction book. It gives you little hints on one page what animal is to come on the next page. So I'll see if anyone can spot those things. So when you look at the picture, as I'm reading it, try to look around and see what animals you might think are going to show up on the next page. Okay, so barnyard boogie. Oh, we see a, a crow here. Blackbirds waiting to read the book. I'm a clonky donk. I'm a clonky honky donkey. I sing hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Clonky donkey hee, clonky donkey haw. If this book was about me, I guess it would look like this. Now I'm trying to read the words down there. I'm a... My eyes aren't well enough, good enough for me. I'll see if I can get my glasses. Okay, now I'll see if I can... I'm a clunky donk. Clunky bonky donkey, I sing hee haw hee haw. Clunky donkey hee, clunky bonky haw. Okay, I did it. Okay, look around the picture. See if you might predict what animal is going to come next. Mm -hmm. A rooster. Did anyone see that? I'm a raggle taggle rooster. I sing cock a doodle doo. Rag a daggle cock a doodle. Rag a daggle doo. I'm a rag a taggle rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Oops. Okay, look around. See if you see any animals in the background that you predict could be our next animal. Let's look. You see it? I do. All right, a cow. Did anyone see a cow in the page before? Let's go back and look. So looking behind the rooster, do you see a cow? Oh, I do, right there. Out in the field. Okay, let's see. I'm a moosey juicy moo cow. I sing moo moo moo. Moosey juicy mmm. Moosey juicy ooh. I'm a moosey juicy moo cow. I sing moo moo moo. Okay, so we've already seen these animals on previous pages. Hmm, does anyone see anything else perhaps? Aha! I'm a zippy slippy goldfish bub dub bubble up. Dora. I sing bub bub bubble up, zippy slippy bub, zippy slippy bub. I'm a zippy slippy goldfish, bub bub bubble up. Ooh, anyone see an animal 
that might like to eat goldfish? Let's see. Hmm. Um, uh, Linky Slinky Jazz Cat, I sing meow, meow, meow. Linky Slinky me, Linky Slinky you. I'm a Linky Slinky Jazz Cat, meow, meow, meow. Hmm. This next animal is hiding really well, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Do you see an animal hiding on the page where I'm talking from? That's the only hint I'm going to give you. Okay, let's see. Ha ha, the dog. I'm a nosy boat. I'm a what? I'm a nosy ghosty hound dog, I sing. Oh, oh, oh. No see go see oh. no see go see er oh. I'm a no see go see hound dog oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. looking for the next animal oh, I see some animals hiding there I do I do do you Oh. I'm a, what is he? I'm a stinky pinky piggy. Oink, oink, oink. Ah. Uh, I sing oink, 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 root around, oink, oink, gobble down. I'm a stinky pinky piggy. Oink, oink, oink. They are the animals we already saw are over here doing a parade. Oh, do you see another animal looking at the pigs? I do. Ha ha. I'm a greedy, eaty, billy goat. I sing. Ba, ba, ba. Bye bye. How about more? Bye bye. I'll take four. I'm a greedy, eedy, bitty goat. Bye bye bye. Okay, there's the billy goat. I don't really see any more animals, do you? Hmm, there's still more pages in the book. There must be another animal. Hmm. Oh, Mrs. Robinson, maybe your eyeballs aren't working. Maybe I need to clean my eyeball. I better try cleaning my eyeball. <laughs> okay, now I'll try again. Oh, do you see what I did? I stuck my glasses in my eye. Ah, it did work. I do see the other animal and it's on this page right here. I'm a wacky, quacky panda gassing quack, 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 paddle feet, quack, quack, dive and eat. I'm a wacky, quacky panda, quack, quack, quack. Mm -hmm. <gasps> mm, does anybody see another animal? I do not. Let's turn the page and see. Oh, a froggy. Um, a uh, sort of warty bullfrog. I sing ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hoppity, bobbity, rib. Hoppity, floppity, it. I'm a warty, sorty bullfrog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Right Any more animals? Oh. The mouse, the mouse that has been friends through the whole book now gets his own page. Very nice. I'm 
I'm a hurry, furry field mouse asking, squeak, squeak, squeak. Little shy squeak, little shy eek. I'm a scurry, furry field mouse, squeakity eek, eek. And I think he's the last one because he was in the book the whole time and I don't think the ladybug gets a page. Oh, the farmer! The farmer's here. And there's too many words on here for me to read without looking, so I gotta turn this so I can see the words. All right. Hmm. I'm a blue jean singity sing farmer. I sing tractor tunes and hoe down croons. I sing digging in the dirt, dig dog doogie, scratching in a scritching in the barnyard boogie. But I like it best when we all sing along, when we all the barnyard gang sings the barnyard song. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh, he has nice white teeth, doesn't he? Yeehaw! So, this book was called Barnyard Boogie. And I want you to look at this title right now and see how many letter A's you can find. A big A or a little A? <laughs> Let's see how many can you find. And if you feel like having some fun with a grown-up, I want you to write out a list of animals you can think of. They don't have to be farm animals, barnyard animals. They can be any kind of animals. And I want you, once you've written the list, I want you to see how many A's are in the names. Could be a big A. Could be a, where's my marker? Could be a, so many markers to choose from. Could be a big A. Or a little a. Does that look right or am I writing backwards? Maybe I should write backwards. Big A, little a. Whichever looks right to you. This one does. Big A, little a. So once you make a list of animals, I want to know how many you can find, that how many letter A's you can find in your animal list. And you can let me know by messaging me. So we're going to have a little fun now. I did not like the way that marker wrote, but I'm going to choose a black marker. And I've got my handy dandy clipboard that my friend Lachlan bought me. And I'm using it a lot lately. So one of the books in, or one of the animals in the book was a pig. And I'm going to teach you how to draw a pig just by using some shapes, okay? We're going to draw circles. A circle is just a line that has no corners and it goes around and joins itself again. So I'm going to show you how to make a pig with circles. So here we go. Let's see. One circle here, then two circles here, then a circle here, then a circle here, then a circle here, then a circle here. So let's see how many circles that is. I'll draw a circle here. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we had seven circles. Does it look like a pig? It's starting to, right? So now I'm going to do some squares. One, two, three, four squares to make his feet. And I'm going to need some triangles. So here's a triangle and there's a triangle. So that's one, two triangles. Uh, okay. I don't know why my numbers are backwards. So I'll go like this and I will write backwards. How's that? Does that work? Yeah. Um, so to make this pig, it took seven circles, four squares, and two triangles. I want to give him a curly tail though, so I'm going to do a letter S. 
right there. See? Is that a letter S? Or should I do it backwards? He doesn't need two tails. So there you go. There's my letter S. So see, I did a pig. So a circle is a 2D shape. The D stands for dimensional. So a circle goes this way and that way. But a 3D shape would be something I could hold in my hand. It wouldn't be flat like that. So a circle could be an elastic. I don't know if you can see that elastic. It's, it's supposed to, oh, there we go. On my black shirt, it'll show. See, that's a circle. Um, I have a coin. That's a circle. A penny. I have a piece of paper. That's a circle. And it's just flat. But if I wanted to make 3D circles, they're actually called spheres. And a sphere is like a pom-pom. So it's round like a circle, but it's not flat. It has a whole shape to it. So instead of seven circles to make a picture of a pig, I'm going to use seven spheres to make a 3D, 3D pig. So what I have here is some clay. And I rolled it up earlier because plasticine is hard when it's cold. You gotta warm it up kind of. So remember it took us seven circles to make a pig. So I have seven spheres here. So here's the big one. This is the pig's body. Hey, oh, I dropped his head. Mm. Okay, so here's his head. Now it is kind of cool. So if I wanted it to last a long time, I think I'd use a toothpick to stick these two together but I don't need to keep it forever, so I'll just do this. So there's my sphere body, my sphere face. Here's my little sphere spout, snout. That's the nose for the piggy. So that's three, we need four more. Oh, for the eyes, look at these tiny little spheres I made with black plasticine. And I kind of flattened them to look more like circles once I push them on. Because I don't want them to roll off his face. And then I have two tiny ones to make his little nostrils. <laughs> now, let's go back to the chart and see what else we need. So we have seven circles or spheres. Okay, we need four squares. But squares, when they're 3D, are called cubes, aren't they? So I made four little cubes. They remind me of dice. You know, when we play games with dice. So I made four of these to be his feet. Oh, one! Kind of looks like a uh, one of those Minecraft pigs there. Two, three, and I'll show you how I made it. I, I just made, I, I guess I kind of started out with a sphere just to warm up the clay. And then I pushed down that way and that way and just kind of squished around until it made a cube. So it's like a 3D square. So I have a little cube. So there's his four feet. <gasps> what else does he need? Triangles. He's got to have some ears, right? So I guess to warm it up, I'll make a sphere again because we can always start that. And now I have to turn it into a triangular prism. So I'm just gonna squish the end and flatten the bottom to look like a triangle and turn it and do it on the other side. Hmm, there we go. A little triangle, sphere, triangular sphere when it's, or a triangular prism when it's 3D. And there's the other one. And there I have my little piggy made out of 3D shapes. So see, two-dimensional, it's just a flat picture, three-dimensional, 
It's like a body you can pick up. Now, I also want to give him a tail. So I was happy to see I had a pink pipe cleaner. I don't need that big one, though. So I'm just going to cut it. And then to curl it, you can just take a pencil and hold it against the pencil and twirl it around like that. And then remove the pencil. And there we have it. You can pull it out and it's still a little, little uh, curly. And you can stick that in your pig. Still looks pretty big. I didn't need that big of a tail, but it'll show nicely. <laughs> Does it look like a pig? Mm, I think I next time would make the nostrils smaller because when I stuck them on they kind of went too big oh I got to pick his nose <laughs> not literally I picked well I did I picked the little black dots off his nose so now I'm going to make them smaller they're still going to be spheres but just really tiny tiny ones and this time I'm not going to squish them I'm just going to let them sit there oops Ah, ooh, let's see if that looks better. Uh, still looks kind of like a mustache, so I'm going to take off a little more. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, but since I have time, might as well. So you are going to make a list of animals, find all the letter A's in the animals, and then try drawing a pig using seven circles four squares, and two triangles. And now look, that is cute, right? That looks better. I fixed his nose. And um, so if you draw a picture, I didn't have any pink paper. I drew it on orange. You can draw it on white and then color it whatever picture, you, whatever color you like. And I'd love to see a picture of yours. So I hope you had fun. I hope you do have some clay or Play-Doh that you can make some spheres with to make a piggy. And, um, I will see you again next time. Okay, bye.